To solve a recurrence relation, really what we're talking about is to find a closed formula for the relation. So, for example, we had on the Tower of Hanoi that H1 was equal to 1, and then Hn was equal to twice Hn minus 1 plus 1, and it made the sequence of 1, and then twice that plus 1, twice that plus 1, twice that plus 1, twice that plus 1, etc. And it generated the sequence. Solving it means find a closed formula, and how could we do this? How to find a closed formula? Well, one is just simply guess and check. For example, uh, 1, 3, 8, 15, 31, that kind of looks familiar. I know that 2, 4, 8, 16, 32 is simply the formula 2 to the n, where n starts at 1 and then 2. So I know that, and I look at the two and I say, wow, they're just one apart. So I'm going to guess that h sub n is simply 2 to the n minus 1. And so now we check. And the way we check on this is we take our, what we know is supposed to be true, h of n is supposed to be twice hn minus 1 plus 1. Well, if that's hn, that would be 2 to the nth minus 1. Does this equal twice 2 to the n minus 1 minus 1 plus 1? Well, that's just simply 2 to the n minus 1. Does this equal, this is 2 to the n times 2, to, 2 times 2 to the n minus 1 is 2 to the n minus 2 plus 1. That's just equal to 2 to the n minus 1. And the answer is yep. And so, yes, it's a solution. So I, I thought I knew what the formula was, and it looks like I figured it out right. And I can always check by just simply plugging it back in. Does it meet the function rule? H of n would be this. If that's H of n, n minus 1, plug in n minus 1 and just evaluate it. The other is older techniques was this whole idea of instead of guess and check, the second one would be forward or backward iteration. And that's just things like, okay, so if h sub n is twice h sub n minus 1, plus 1, then this is simply twice h sub n minus 2 plus 1. Plug that in for that. That's 2 times 2 h sub n minus 2 plus 1 plus 1. And so my h sub n has become 2 squared h sub n minus 2 plus 2 plus 1. <coughs> and, but on the other hand, h sub n minus 2 is twice h sub n minus 3 plus 1. And we can plug that in there. So it's twice. Uh, let me see. I got my 2 squared. And then I got twice h sub n minus 3 plus 1. And then I got my plus 2 and my plus 1. And so h sub n is equal to 2 cubed. h sub n minus 3 plus 2 squared plus 2 plus 1. Obviously, we would go down until I can see what the pattern is. Oops, that's minus 3. I see the pattern. That's a 3. That's a 3. So this would obviously go down to h sub n until this becomes h sub. Now what's going to go here if this needs to equal a 1? n minus what? So it would be n minus n minus 1 because that becomes 1. That's 2 to the n minus 1 plus down 2 squared plus 2, plus 1, and we were told that h sub 1, and so h sub n is equal to 2 to the n minus 1, h sub 1 plus, keep on going down, 2 squared, 2, 1, 
but that means h sub n is equal to 2 to the n minus 1. We are told that h sub 1 is 1, so I don't need it, plus 2 squared plus 2 plus 1. That is just the geometric sum, geo sum. So it's the sum of a geometric series is whatever's in front, which is 1 times 2 to the nth. And then the next term would be 2 to the nth. And so that is 2 to the nth minus 1 divided by 2 plus 1 which is equal to 2 to the nth minus 1. Hey, that's my same formula. And so you could go either forward or backwards in this. So uh, that looks like well, it's really everything that we have on this particular sequence.